Hey guys, this is what you're looking at. Um, today, I got a video on the MP7. As y'all know, let me get some eye protection on first. But, uh, yeah, as y'all know, I made a video on this a while ago showing, or not, well, kind of showing and a little bit of explaining about how I changed a LiPo battery to the micro connection you see on the AEP batteries. Well, after a game, my fuse blown. I didn't know it was my fuse because it's kind of hard to get into the fuse during a game. You got to take a lot of parts off the gun. And uh, basically, I thought my LiPo just crapped out on me. Eventually, I went to go take the battery out, messed up the connectors. LiPo polarized right there. So LiPo was trash. I didn't want to buy another one because it took 30 days to get here. As I said, it was from a Chinese website. So what I did, opened the gun up, took every body pin out. Kept, you know, kept in track where I had to put it, and literally the gun just comes apart in half from this half of the body to this half of the body. So I um, pried it apart, got to my trigger connections. Since I'm a, a beginner solder, not a really expert, I had my local tech actually hardwire my gun, you know, the, the wires to the actual trigger system itself. So it took out semi auto, but uh, I don't know, maybe I, we just did that wrong. But uh, now I got a fully auto MP7. I mean, well, I already did. But listen to how fast this is. Really fast. And also, I'm going to show you a little bit of a little bit of an FPS test here. Same thing. 243. 242. 244.8. So as you see, the gun shoots, you know, really high. The only two cons to this whole thing is that I really can't pull my stock out because I forgot to pull it out when I taped it. By the way, you got to have it in or out. You can't change it. So I decided to keep it in. As is, you know, you can still kind of shoulder it. And this is my backup weapon. So, you know, I'd be pulling it out. It wouldn't really be something I'd be out in the middle of the field, you know, getting ready to shoot someone with like that. And also, uh, I lost semi-auto, as I've already mentioned. But besides that, the gun feeds great. It's, it's just so much fun to use now compared to the stock, about 11 to 12 rounds I was getting. I think it's shooting at about 18 to 20 now. You be the judge, though. On the first LiPo mod, I was getting 16, so I went up about 3 to 4. Overall, I like it a lot. It makes the MP7 a whole lot more enjoyable. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is what you're looking at. hope you enjoyed my mod. Also... If you're looking to see a new video, a sneak peek video, on my Witch of Lars channel, if you haven't subscribed, go over there. I'm almost at 500. I'm trying to get to 1,000 as quick as possible. I might do a giveaway. Maybe not because I'm doing one here and about 500 subscribers on this channel. But, uh, yeah, the video over there is pretty much a sneak peek on a gun I'm making. I'm not going to say because I want you to go over there. I want you to see the video and I want you to subscribe. You don't have to like it unless you like it because, you know, yeah. Favorite it if you like it, though favorite if you want to favorite it though and um basically i think you're really gonna like the sneak peek it's a gun i will be getting from airsoft station here pretty soon and i'm just gonna turn the whole gun inside out and make it an amazing custom okay guys that's pretty much it this is what you're looking at i hope you enjoyed the video i'm gonna stop talking now uh yeah i'm out